you know, consumers are asking for locally grown food, but it's hard to grow it, right? Yep. Uh, you can't just grow food in any location. And so how is the industry, how are these innovations in technology helping supply the consumer demand? Yeah, so um, the, the way to think of it is you have a consumer demand, which is a pull, right? And you have mm -hmm. technology, which is kind of a push. Mm -hmm. And so this industry is growing up between the, this pull from consumer demand and this push from technology. And, um, you know, it, technology is really kind of fundamental to, to the industry itself. I mean, in the last one, we talked a lot about LEDs mm -hmm. and, how, you know, the, just this very predictable inter and interesting increase efficiency and drop in, in cost. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it hasn't nearly happened to that extent, mm -hmm. but, you know, just some of the, the changes in the last 10 years, say in HVAC mm -hmm. and um, the ability to install that, uh, effectively in these types of environments uh, mm -hmm. when we're talking about wireless controls uh, controls in general sensor technology all of these different things mm -hmm. you know an example of this would be uh, like a dosing system 30 years ago you could really only afford a dosing system if you're a very large farm yeah. at least one that was really efficient right um, because sensor the sensors were very expensive and um, the technology to do that was was much costlier much mm -hmm. cruder mm -hmm. Today, um, you know, you can put an IntelliDose for 3000 bucks, and it can run a fairly large facility for hmm. you. So um, this is technology that's involved very dramatically. Yeah. And one of the concern, maybe the critics, uh, criticisms of indoor farming is that this is a tech trend. It's not an appropriate technology. Right. It's just another kind of fad, right? Yeah. And so can you speak uh, maybe to this idea of appropriate technology? Or, or is this really something that communities can use to grow their food. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, appropriate, appropriateness is like fundamental to, to any kind of technology. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, there are a lot of very fair claims that indoor growing is just a fad for mm -hmm. right now. But most of those claims are being made by people who are either not in the industry and don't mm -hmm. necessarily see what's happening, mm -hmm. and certainly are not made by people that are enjoying the benefits of this year-on-year -year progress, both on the technology side, so re reductions in cost, right. increases in efficiency on technology, and, and massive increases of, in demand on the consumer side. Right. And so when we're talking about you know technology, it's, it's absolutely appropriate. Right. I mean, we have an absolutely... Um, the market changes uh, in a positive way every single year. Yeah. You know, we have seen dramatic growth year on year. Well, and the reality is, if the consumers are demanding it, it has to come from somewhere. That's right. Shipped thousands of miles. We hear a lot about food miles. You know, um, you can't just choose not to eat lettuce. <laughs> Well, right. I mean, you could, but, <laughs> right. but yeah, I mean, no, and, and that's an interesting thing, you know, starting with organic, organic really taught consumers yeah. that, you know, you've got two heads of lettuce, they look identical, they taste identical, really, yeah. um, they're just in slightly different packaging, mm -hmm. really, um, and that changes the fundamental value of the product. Yeah. Like, Organic was the most powerful marketing movement in modern ag by far. Local has the opportunity not to just be marketing, but to actually be an increase in quality. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're transporting th something a thousand miles, I don't care if it's two days on a truck. You compare lettuce that's two days on a truck versus lettuce that's two hours mm -hmm. from harvest, and there's a fundamental difference in the product. Right. Right? And you can't buy time. Um, there, there are just some things you cannot necessarily buy. Mm -hmm. And local producers, in all of those regards, when it comes to all of those features of the product that mm -hmm. are tied directly to location, proximity to market, uh, speed of harvest, speed of getting that to the consumer, and those types of qualities, there's absolutely no way that a guy in California can, com you know, shipping stuff to right. Chicago, compete with a guy who's growing in Chicago. Well, that's, that's interesting. Um, fresher produce that tastes better. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, 